Okay, hello everyone, this is a bit of a weird, unscripted video um, about Wardens. So I'm on one of my worlds here, I've just been testing out ways to kill the Warden. Um, I thought it was my fifth chest, like what the fuck, but um, basically I figured out a great, nice and consistent, easy way to deal with Wardens if you are exploring the Asian city and you accidentally summon one. Um, of course you're not going to kill out with the sword or bow. Um, well, you could kill out the bow, but that takes a lot of durability off your bow. Um, so I came up with a way to kill it using dripstone and trapdoors um, by stacking up, as you can tell. It's actually pretty consistent, and there, I think there's not a big risk of dying, so it's pretty nice. Um, so let's say you have this right here. <laughs> um, if you see one of these on their own, and they're not next to any uh, sensors, or rather there's none nearby, like if I break it, they will activate these sensors and trigger the other two. Like if I break them quick enough, I can't. But we now have a warden. Oh no. So if the warden is not aggroed on you, as you see right now, it's not like visibly chasing you or anything. Um, I'm gonna run away a bit and to where the like ground's like this. And then you just wanna start stacking up. Um, you gotta be careful of the ward exonic moving you, which is why this won't work if the ward is currently aggroed on you. But now it's fine. Um, I'm going to build up to Y negative 25, about there. And because right now I'm pretty much safe, the guy can't sonic move me, I'm gonna shoot him. Once I shoot the warden, the warden will instantly know where I am and start running towards me. Um, and this is good because I want the warden to be directly below me so I can uh, drip stump him. So we're going to take out these things. So see the warden will come at you really quickly. I'm going to finish my stack up to negative 25. You can also negative 26, also fine. And the warden's right below me. Now, um, I would say it's more consistent to stand on the edge of the block. So shift over the block like this. Um, this tricks mobs into thinking you're actually there. So they will, the warden will stay there. Um, I think if I do this, in some cases, it will try to find high ground. As you can see, and that won't work. If I do this, it will come back here. Or it might it might not. But um if I do this, I'll make it think I'm on the ground here. And as you can see, it's going to come right over here. And we're now gonna place the dripstone. So place your trapdoor on the bottom part of the block like this. Um if I place it on the wrong part like there, you can't place dripstone on it. Place it here, it's completely fine. And um you can also stand here, you could let the dripstone go right through your head. It does not actually damage you. Uh, it only damages once it hits the ground, I think. But uh, from here, you're just gonna do this action, which is um, so it's right click, shift, right click, unshift, right click. So it's it's a pretty. You can't open the trap door while the drip zone is in you. So you're gonna have to be a bit patient, to reopen it. But other than that, it takes about like 15 drip stone to kill a thing. And once you're done, you can either mine your pillar, or you can just be cool and do that. I missed it. And that's basically how you kill the warden, if it's unaggroed on you. Um, I'm going to go around the same city and trigger another random skull shaker to show I've not been practicing this on the specific skull shaker. Um, and I'm just going to find one. Is that one? No. Nope. Okay, well, I triggered one. I don't know where. Okay, it's right there. And now we're going to let the warden move out. So... Um, I don't want to place with tall structures like that, because the warden will probably try to go on top of them. Um, I also want a Wait, is it in the structure? You can also use F3A to see the warden, by the way. I think it's in the structure here, is it? Okay, that's not great. So if it can't get out of the structure, I'm not going to risk my life mining the structure. That's a really stupid idea. But, um... What I'll do is, because it can't get out of the structure, can't really sonic boom me. Or is it is it walking out? Where'd it go? Oh it did okay, it did get out of game. No, it's still in there, okay. It's in the structure there. So we're just gonna stack out. So keep in mind that if you are within 49 blocks of the warden, the warden has this uh, stiffy thing that's able to find you. So you can't just stand still and pray everything goes okay. It's not gonna work. So the warden is stuck there, I think it is it completely stuck in there? I'm not sure. Um, but I will take the opportunity now to shoot up an arrow because I have my escape route right there. Let's see if I can get out. I'm not sure if I can get out of there. Can it? 
Okay, can. Alright, let's get up. So we're gonna make our way to negative 26 or negative 25. I like negative 26, I think it's fine. Oh, never mind, it's not fine. Jeez. It's on the structure, that's why. I think I'm dead here, actually. Okay, wow. <laughs> so as you can see, the charge sound happened, but it didn't actually work because uh, at that tick, I was able to get out of the warden's range. Now that would have killed me. Uh, which is why you need totems. I popped my totems earlier so they don't exist anymore. But if I stand here, I think the warden should... Oh, it doesn't, because it's on that side. Okay, that's pretty great. So make sure if you get Sonic Boom, you can't get knocked off. And try to do this. Try to go down a bit. You want to try to break these so that you can actually see the warden, which is now. Um, I think the warden's like there. I think it's chilling, the, the aggro or something. Can I come down to below me though? That's a question. I don't think I can. It might. I, I'm also going to mention you can actually turn uh, darkness pulsing off, so it doesn't annoy you as much. Uh, unfortunately, I don't think the warden is able to find me here, which is unfortunate. It's kind of chilling over there. It does notice me though, right? Like, it's not, I'm not crazy. I'm gonna shoot it real quick. Hopefully it'll come right below me, because that that's where it was a second ago. If not, we can readjust stuff, but... No, it's just stuck over there. Is it? Is it because there's a structure there in some way? This is really risky, don't do that, but... I think it's because of the structure. Right there. Oh, wow. Nice. Okay. This thing, this thing is terrifying. Um, okay. Still there. Yeah, it's stuck there. Ah, uh, you can just heal it out. On hard it does, I believe, 7 hurts. So once you're I'm above 7, I'll just come back. Um, uh, it seems to get rid of that block, though. So I remember they can only Sonic Boom me, and there is a cooldown between Sonic Booms. So you aren't in immediate risk of being killed. Um, it goes through armor, it does 7 hearts regardless of what armor you have. I'm not sure about resistance too, um, but it's kind of complicated to set up a beacon here, so I don't expect them to do it. I can't even mind that. Don't mind that down. You know, it's got, it's got a slow and tedious process. Um, I think if I re-log it might de-aggro, I'm not sure. Uh, I know on servers it does de-aggro if you re-log, which makes sense if you think about it, because um, you literally stopped existing, so it has to re-aggro on you. Does it de -aggro? Oh, it noticed me. I don't know if it's aggro though. No, it isn't. It's not aggro. It's not aggro. Okay, well, there is a hole now. Yeah, there we go. There's a hit. So the question is now I have a hole, which means I can drop drifts on this guy's head. Does it work though? Okay, is it? Is he below me? He is. Okay, perfect. So with all that. All that pain and suffering. I can finally start dropping drips on his head, and hopefully we're able to eliminate it. There we go. We killed it. So now I'm gonna slowly stack down. Is oh. okay, dude. You know what? When one's summoning, the other ones can't summon. So we're just gonna do that. If one spawning, none, none of them can spawn. So if, if a school is just going, I'll just run away. I think that one's in the wall there and it can't come down. Yeah. That one's probably fine. How many skeletons are there? What the heck? What is that? Okay. There you go. So you see there's a random warden. Um, You can see how ugly structures are. Which is why I recommend you try to find a flat place in the... Uh, Ancient City to fight these things. Yeah, structures are really annoying. Okay, here's a Shrieker. 
I'm gonna go off. I'm gonna look around here. I think there over there is a pretty good place. Free of any structure. Also, when you shift, you can shift away out of the warden like this. You can also jump, um, unshift for a split second and hold on to your sprint key, which gives you sprinting powers. Um, this actually doesn't look too good. The warden is there, so I do have a line of sight on the warden. Um, okay, I think I'll just stack up here. Yeah. I'm at 36, which is kind of too low to shoot her right now. Um, and from here, I think I'm fine to shoot it, because I can get up. Oh. You yeah, see, it'll, 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 it'll come close to your projectiles, but, and when you hit it once, uh, it's, usually it's good to hit it, because um, it'll like 100% go after you. Um, okay, now we're at 26. I'll go one, oh, one more, because it's going to come up one more. And so it's like, come over here. Um, check if it can sonic boom you. Because if it does, you need to kind of start digging up as soon as possible. Um, you usually have a totem though. A totem gives you three hits before you die. Or like a warning. Um, if that's the wrong place. Okay, here we go. Drop door down. And we just start hitting it. Make sure when you start dropping a drip zone that it actually does damage the warden. It'd be kind of funny if it just doesn't. See, it's like moved away for some reason. I don't know why. Um, I don't know, wait, why? He's coming back. I'm gonna shoot it again. Just to make sure it knows I'm here. There we go, it's dead. And we're just gonna drop down and I won't Beautiful. So that's there, your example on how to kill the warden. Um, but what if... For example, it aggroed on you, right? So first of all, you're probably going to pick pearls. I forgot to put pearls in my inventory, but pearls are extremely useful, so I'm just going to decide to give them myself right now. Um, pearls are extremely useful. So let's say I trigger one of these things, and um, I, for some reason, the warden aggroed on me, like, really mad. Um, like, I'll just wait for it. Okay, I'll punch it. Now it's chasing you, which is really bad. Um, uh, what you want to do is just keep running and try to try to not do that. That's really bad. See the warden's right there. It's gonna start stomping the warden. So at this point, you might want to crawl away, and it will eventually find you because it is aggroed on you. And you can take one of your pillars and start pulling off. You can take a 3 a to see where it is. And you want to pillar very far away from the warden to guarantee you will not get sonic boomed when um, the warden is close to you. That is very important. If you get sonic boomed on your tower, you are probably going to die. Um, as you see, I've pearled away, and now we are in a perfect position to uh, destroy the warden with uh, dripstone. So let's just go ahead and do that. And, um, darn it. And as you see, what I did there is, oh, I placed the wrong place. My bad. There. And see what I've done there is I've ran away from the warden with the pearl. Because the warden will find you, so it doesn't really matter. So you just want to quickly run away and stack up. It will find you, it will come beneath you, and you're just going to dripstone it. And that's how you deal with a warden that is already aggroed on you um, nicely. I've actually ran and I'm running running to where the video started, which is kinda of funny, but yeah. These things since are not that big. So let's say you want these two chests, except there are four gosh darn shriekers in the way. Um keep in mind that one once one shrieker starts shrieking, um none of the other ones can summon warden, so we have one warden at once. I can break one, two, three, four of these, let the warden spawn in, and I can quickly deal with it. I'm also gonna punch this one for funsies. And then once I do that, I'm just going to pearl away instantaneously. Um, and from here, there's a structure here. So, actually no, I don't like this place. I'm just going to keep going. Um, I want to keep running, probably not on a flat ground. I ran to the same place again. If you run through a structure, the warden's going to have a bit of trouble going through it. So this is a good place to start stacking up. Uh, oh, it might be too close actually, it's right there. It's stuck. I think it's stuck actually. It's stuck. Okay. 
Minta, the Nick 32, should be good. Um, the Warden just seems to be stuck there, which means we're gonna have to go to it if it's stuck. Um, so we're gonna come in here, we're gonna make sure to stay at, I think it's on the ground there, so we are safe going at 24 here. We're gonna go into crawl mode and just start coming towards the Warden. Or going towards the Warden, rather? No. Yeah. Uh, oh jeez. Oh, hi, cave. Okay, cool. So we're slowly make our way to the warden, which is right now below me, and we're just gonna take down like that. So the warden is below me. We can now just dripstone it. You know the drill. Oh, did it? Okay, it moved slightly. It's just to be under me, bro. There we go. And there we go. That's a second aggro warden I've eliminated. Beautiful. Also, when you do that, just make sure there are no silk streakers on the ground when you MLG down. Um, if you don't know, then just slowly come down. I'm pretty confident in my ability to do this strat, so I would just MLG. I can take on the next warden, but um, I recommend, highly recommend you go into your single player world to practice this before using it on a world that dying would matter. As this, you do need to get the hang of this. It is a bit weird. Um, but it's a relatively consistent way to deal with wardens. Another way is if you don't have dripstone, you can just show, just keep bowing it. I'll show you that right now. All oh, right. Oh, fuck. no. Ah, uh, slight issue. So the warden actually seems to be stuck behind this structure. So I'll just bow spam it. If if he's made, so this is the bow spam strategy. You just shoot the bow at the warden. It's kind of easy to comprehend. The issue is, it does a ton of damage to your bow, which is really, really bad, which I don't like the strategy, although, if you, because you have, like, a mending bow, um, uh, I guess you're gonna use a lot of arrows on this, probably, like, a full stack, and you don't get them back, um, if you use an infinity bow, you're gonna need to repair it, and, you know, it's just a, such a waste of durability, which is why I came with dripstone in the first place, just so it's more consistent and more, like, reusable. But you can obviously boast on the warden if you want, um, and yeah, we're just gonna keep shooting this thing, and I'll just, it, it, do, it doesn't work really well. Yeah, as you can see, this takes such a long time, oh, there we go, we got it. Um, yeah, but the boatstone energy, it takes so many arrows to kill a thing. Like, you can see how many arrows I missed here, and then just, it was a lot of arrows, which is why I don't recommend this boatstone strategy. Um, uh, although that boatstone was a bit weird, you can also boatstone while the thing is below you, like in the dripstone position. Um, let me just go find our slow trigger real quick. Oh, alright, there we go, we got another streaker going. And I'm just gonna show you, you can very easily kill the warden with a bow. Um, so as you see here, I'm just gonna start towering up while the warden is spawning in, because the warden, when it spawns in, it can't instantly go after you, it still needs to, like, sniff you or detect you somehow. Uh, which gives me enough time. Also, also keep in mind, there is a slight delay between when it aggroes you and when it decides to sonic boom. Um, so you can obviously just stack up in that time, if, although if you're like, if your pickaxe is slow, it might be an issue. But you see here, we can just start shooting it. Um, I'm gonna speed this up, and just see how many arrows it takes. So that was about like 20 or so arrows, and as you see, we know that there is a shrieker down there. So let's say I drip, drop, have my dripstone down there, and oh, what the, how did you detect me from here? Okay, okay. Alright, well, um, in that case, we have another warden, and we're just gonna get out of there. <laughs> um, I'm just gonna drift on this guy, give me a sec. So, it takes about, like, I don't know, like, uh, like, like, 17 inch trips when I kill the guy. So, um, this time I'm gonna dig over here into the wall, um, to make sure there's no shriekers below me. And, let's see here, uh, I think I can pearl into the wall, right? Okay, yeah, because when you're on wall, you're undetectable. There you go. No shriekers. And I need, I need that dripstone over there, let's say, but there's a shrieker next to it. I'm just going to find a way to drop down. There's no shriekers here, so I'm just going to drop. And I'm going to shift over here. Uh, try not to take fall damage, because that will set off the shriekers. And slowly but carefully... Also, not don't step on these things. They will aggro. Same with that thing. Do not step on top of them, um, but just shift next to them. And there you go, I've claimed my dripstone back. And uh, I am ready to, yeah, disappear. So yeah, there you go. 
So yeah, that was a pretty messy video on Warden Killings. Um, it definitely was a bit weird. I'm, uh, yeah, I usually put more thought into videos, but I just wanted to get this out there. Um, I highly recommend you practice strat in your own world, as it, uh, it just takes some time getting used to, but I think it is pretty good for killing Wardens. Um, and yeah, I hope you learned something from this video, and it didn't just take 20 minutes of your life. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in another one of my, uh, hopefully better videos. Goodbye.